Hi everybody! This is my weekly YouTube broadcast and I thought I would come to you today with a very important message. Um, you know, being a quad amputee, living alone and going through all that I've been through um, has been a real journey for me. And anything I can do to help you guys uh, muddle through, you know, that's kind of what my book does. It really talks about resilience. That's the message today. Resilience. So the people that are going to survive this new energy that's coming into the earth are the ones that can adapt and overcome and be resilient. And so a lot of that has to do with you being okay with your own self and your situation, whatever that may be. And everybody's going through something rough, you know. We all have deaths in our family. We all have bills that are piling up. We all have children that talk back that we really desperately want their love. I mean, we have people that come into our lives and really challenge us to hold our space. And it's really important that we do a daily meditation. And the meditation has to be breath work, which is really important. And if you can all learn to tone and just um, take a few minutes every day and just center yourself. And the breathing has to be a breath in for four and then out for six. And doing that for like five minutes can really bring you back to yourself. And the other important thing to do is to be grateful. Find all the things that are working for you. Everything that's, um, that's a blessing in your life. Find your blessings and be grateful. That is a high frequency emotion and that can turn everything around for you. Um, but the self-care is super important, especially into the energy that's coming through right now. Everything is in chaos mode, but that only means that when you go through the chaos, you come out the other side into a very um, equilibrium, right? The earth is going through a low density um, magnetic field. And every time it does that, there's total chaos with human beings. And World War III is on the horizon, you know, the financials, everything's breaking down. There's so much corruption in the government and whistleblowers and you know that you could watch the news and get very depressed okay and you have to understand one thing that's super important to get everything's your teacher everything even the negative stuff mostly the negative stuff is your teacher so instead of getting lost in it getting overwhelmed by it which is super easy to do when you let the world in that's where you have depression and suicide. And I know that firsthand in my own family has been rocked by that. And so if I could save another soul and maybe be a cheerleader for somebody going through a rough time, because I've been through a lot of rough times, and be a guidepost to show the way so that you don't allow everything from the world to get inside you. Like the fear, the fear is off the charts. It's off the charts. It, 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 it's everywhere. It permeates everything. And what it does is it breaks down your cells. It causes you to have disease in your body. So the, what I'm telling you today is super important. It has taken me many years to get to this point. And, I, and my book is talking a lot about that resilience. And, it, you know, uh, Beautifully Broken, the Katie Hay stories on Amazon. I encourage everybody to run out and get a copy because... I take you through the journey of my loss. I take you through the journey of that deep, dark sadness that basically I had to dig out from and find all the blessings and really come into my own as a human being to really take a look at my loneliness. And I've been really a big follower of Matt Kahn. Everybody can go to YouTube and look his videos up. Very important. I do it every day. And what he is is cheerleading for people that want to be um, making their heart stronger, right? We need to be in our heart. Heart-centered consciousness is the way of the future, okay? And if we can love ourselves more and even send love to those that are hurting enough to hurt us, we're going to change the world. It's exciting. you got to stay into that whole idea of how powerful you are. And everything that you believe and put out into the universe is actually felt by the full consciousness 
of everyone. So you see the mess in the world. We've created that. We did that because of quantum understanding. If you look up any kind of quantum understanding, you understand that we influence our own environment by our thoughts and our behaviors. And so when you see the craziness in the world, you realize, okay, hold on a minute. I'm going to take responsibility for some of that because I've had dark days where I just spewed out my sadness, my anger, my frustration, it just spews from our energy field. And if we can center ourselves, bring it back down inside of ourselves, meditate and find our heart centered consciousness in our darkest days, then we can pull ourselves up out of the darkness. And by doing that for ourselves, remember you put the mask on yourself before you help somebody else on the plane. It's the same idea with our spirituality and our consciousness issues and where we're going with the world. We've got to have self-care and take care of ourselves first. Then we can be effective influencing our children, our family. And remember, as women, we are the hub of the wheel of our family unit. So it's super important for moms to do self-care and loving ourselves and taking time to really get in touch with wow i was really snappy with that person where where is that um coming up for me in my own energy field what do i need to love right because it's all about self-care and loving yourself and if you can figure out where you're having sadness or anger or frustration and you use that in your meditation and say okay i'm just kind of feeling out my energy realizing that I've got these unresolved issues and really sit with yourself and just give yourself love and support and say, always cheerlead for yourself. You're doing amazing. To be on earth school right now through what we're going through is the most tumultuous time in our history. It has been talked about through the ages that we are going through a huge shift of consciousness right now. And that's why it's so important to keep yourself really in a very strong space of love and gratitude. Those are high frequency emotions. We need to forgive the trespasses, just like the prayer says. We need to forgive the people that have hurt us and send them blessings to their heart. It's so important, everybody. I cannot tell you enough how we are going to shift the, the consciousness by putting that love and gratitude out there every day. And in your meditation doesn't have to be this big, scary, mystical thing. Um, it's basically when you lay down to close your eyes for maybe 15, 20 minutes, you put yourself in that breath that I talked about in for four, out for six. And you do that to the point where you're in a really good space mentally. And that's when you go into your mode of what do I need to bless? Bless your own heart bless other people that have trespassed against you and forgive them. Remember what Jesus said on the cross, forgive them for they do not know what they do. There's a lot of people that are defaulting, knee jerking out of their own pain and their own crisis. And they don't know how to access the information that I'm telling you today. And they're going to hurt other people because hurt people hurt people. And so what I'm trying to tell you to do is when you stand in your own sovereign space and you don't allow other people's negativity in this space, do not allow anybody's emotions to throw you. Only recognize how it makes you feel and then not allow it in and send it blessings. And you will change your life. You're going to change your depression. You're going to change your hardship because everything's going to become a teacher. Everything's going to be a blessing. Everything is happening perfectly. You have to understand that. that with all the chaos that's going on, everything is happening perfectly. Let me give you an example. Cymatics is the study of sound. And when you have that frequency vibration plate and you put sand on it and you change the frequency, you have different shapes, okay? And so right before the shape changes, you have a period of chaos on the plate. 
And if you had a plate so that you could see this, or maybe look it up on YouTube, look up cymatics, it's a C-Y-M-A-T-I-C, okay? Then you can see that every time they change the frequency, it changes the shape. But right before the shape changes, you're going to see the sand or the water go into a chaotic pattern. That's what we're experiencing on the earth right now. That's what's going on, people. It's simple. This is all perfectly coming around, perfectly laid out. And the best thing we can do is hold strong in our hearts and not allow all the icky, dark, crazy inside of us. So when you're watching the news, and you, it throws you into fear and throws you into chaos and you go, the world's going crazy. Instead of joining the crazy, I invite you to say a blessing for the person affected by the violent crime. Say a blessing for the world and stay in that mode mentally of I am a powerful being. I am creating my reality with what I allow to come in and go out and this is all unfolding perfectly and all the negative things that are coming into my space are teachers for me and I'm gonna send all my teachers blessings all the people that have hurt you send them blessings that is gonna change your life I'm telling you it's so exciting and I'm gonna come on here regularly and just talk about some of the different things but I want to talk about resilience because I've had to deal with a lot of resilience living as a quad amputee and a mom that's lost all her kids and a man that's left me um, living on my own and trying to financially um, get through this world as an artist I'm not even working right now and so all my friends that come out for me, all the things that are coming around for me, my books, popularity, I'm trying to get a movie made right now. I'm trying to stay in that positive mindset because it's so important. It's so important. So I hope this helps you and I hope that you can really understand where I'm coming from and, and really feel that energy that I'm trying to put out there that this all has to do with staying in your sovereign space and not allowing the negatives to come in and realize they're all your teachers and everything's a blessing and everything's working out just the way it's supposed to. But you have to take care of your own heart every day and love everyone in your life send them love even if they're mean to you and you're going to be an amazing sparkly human being i promise blessed be i hope you're having a blessed day thank you for your time